What's up guys, this is Knives and Guns. I'm just going to do a quick discussion, or well, not so quick discussion, of what's better, Coleman fuel, kerosene, or propane. The discussion ranges from anything of cost, efficiency, philosophy of use, so we're going to jump right into it. I am not a big fan of propane. I just, I, I, I don't see where it has any benefits over Coleman liquid fuel. I apologize for the cars going past, but this is my front porch. You just got to deal with it. Um, I just don't see where it has any benefits over over Coleman fuel or kerosene, especially not over kerosene. Um, it's expensive. It doesn't last as long. I suppose its main advantage over Coleman fuel is availability. Or kerosene, for that matter, is availability. You can find the small propane cartridges just about everywhere. But they're just not efficient. You spend three, four dollars for a canister, and your lantern or stove has burned through it in three, four hours of use. When I could go to Walmart and spend ten dollars and get, you know, eight hours. Eight to ten hours of runtime on this lantern here, this 228D. And I can get, you know, five and a half to six hours out of this 237. I have a video coming up on this, by the way. This thing's awesome. This is old, old school right here. This is a 1947 237. Wicked lantern. Brighter than my new 639C. I mean, it, the video really, the camera doesn't do it justice. I mean, that thing's wicked. Bright, white, intense light. Yellow flame. Bright, intense white flame. I love it. Awesome. But anyways, kerosene's even cheaper. $4.38 a gallon for K1 pure clean kerosene or a UK viewer they call it paraffin and you can run these lanterns for pennies so propane has no advantages besides availability and cleanliness you don't have to clean the generators as often but honestly I've never had that big of a problem I run, in my kerosene lanterns, I run an Amish mix. If you don't know what an Amish mix is, or if you're a Coleman Collector Forum member, member, an Augustino mix is anywhere from 40% Coleman fuel and then 60% kerosene. I don't run mine that rich on Coleman fuel. I do about a 80-20 maybe a 70-30. I don't really go too crazy with figuring out different specs and whatnot. I just kind of pour it in and let it go. I've never had a problem with it. I think people get caught up a little bit too much on it personally. But, but yeah, I, I just don't see where propane has any advantages. The canisters are wasteful. They take up extra space. That doesn't need to be. They're heavy. Two propane canisters is as heavy as a gallon of Coleman fuel. Or kerosene for that matter. So no benefits. Now we're going to get on to the battle of Coleman fuel versus kerosene. Well, this is almost as big a landslide as the kerosene and Coleman fuel have over the propane. Well, why, you might ask. Well, first off, availability. I can go 
and I'm sure you can probably go, unless you're in a really rural area, rural area, you can go to a gas station and pick up some decent kerosene for right around five dollars a gallon. But you might have a harder time picking up Coleman fuel unless you live by a Walmart that stocks it. If they have it stocked, by the way, Walmart's notorious for not stocking uh, Coleman fuel. That what they do is they put it out as a seasonal item, so you might only be able to get it throughout the fall and the summer, maybe late spring. So you might not be able to get it. The second is cost. Coleman fuel in my area, which is northern Ohio, is nine dollars eighty-seven cents a gallon. Kerosene, on the other hand, like I told you earlier, is just under five dollars a gallon. So that's a definite advantage to you know kerosene is just availability and cost. Another thing about it that most people don't recognize is kerosene's safer. Now I'm not going to say that it won't and can't hurt you because it can. It's toxic and it burns. Anything that burns or com is combustible is dangerous inherently. However. Kerosene is less volatile than Coleman fuel. The vapors aren't extremely flammable. It stores for damn near ever if you keep it in an airtight container. You don't really have to worry about it. You can store a bunch of it, prep, and store it. Keep it. Coleman fuel does go bad, regardless of what anybody tells you. It's similar to gasoline. Gasoline goes bad, so does Coleman fuel. That's okay. That's another advantage kerosene house. Now what is the advantages of Coleman fuel? Well, there's a couple. One is it burns clean. Burns very clean. You'll almost never have to service a generator on a Coleman lantern as long a Coleman fuel lantern, I should say, if you keep it clean. Just service it regularly. You know, you'll almost never have it foul up you'll be good to go. Kerosene, you do have to clean a generator every now and then. Coleman fuel also can instant light, which basically means you don't need an alcohol preheat. And I have a previous video called how to light a kerosene lantern I'll show you and did show you how to light the preheat and preheat the lantern so it does have some serious advantages in that aspect you can instantly light your lantern have it ready to go and rolling and take it out it's great for doing like quick searches like where I work we off time have to track cattle cattle get out at night We'll have to track them and bring them back. Having a Coleman fuel lantern for that is indisposable because every second they're away, the further and further they get. So you might not have time to preheat your lantern. So that's a definite advantage to Coleman fuel. But they both trump propane. Kerosene also has the advantage of being brighter. It's also hotter, so if you really want to warm something up, kerosene is the way to go. Definitely burns hotter than Coleman fuel. But it has more potential energy than Coleman fuel, therefore you can have a brighter lantern, oftentimes. So, just a quick discussion of which one I prefer. You guys know I love kerosene. Kerosene's the way to go. It's cheap, it's efficient, burns good burns warm second is definitely Coleman fuel like I said it has some advantages over kerosene kerosene definitely outweighs it in my opinion propane to me is garbage so there you go guys just a quick update on what I like and what I prefer more 
look out for the upcoming video on this lantern here this 237 seafoam beautiful vent on there super bright It's awesome. Alright guys. Have a good day.